Right, right. Now I wanted to ask you, like, this is a this is a random one, but we touched on it last time. But um, you're a misunderstood guy, and so I, you also talked about this in that last interview. So I want to ask you about it because um, I didn't get the specifics. Back in the day, right when you were young, you had this case with you broke a guy's jaw or some shit like that. Mm. Are you able to? Are you are you willing? Is it okay if we talk about it a little bit? Mm -hmm. If I ask you, okay. So, yeah. um, you got they they tried to charge you with a felony. And you got off with it because you went all the way through with the court case, and, uh, and they, they did charge me with it. Yeah, they, they did, did, but then me. you didn't keep it, right? You were found Correct. innocent. Correct. So first of all, the guy that you were interviewing with, he's like, they don't know what that other dude did to deserve it. Are you able to say now, like, what happened in that situation? Yeah. Okay. Um. He uh. He walked up. He was in a group of five guys in college. I'm in high school, like 16. The Turkey Bowl tailgate. The time. Seeing this girl. You know. And uh, he thought it was funny to publicly embarrass this girl, humiliate her, and make her cry in front of everyone at the tailgate. And uh, he might have grabbed her ass walking by. And this all happened while my uh, brother-in-law and I at the time, he wasn't my brother-in-law at the time, uh, you know, we're in high school, but, uh, but it was Pat and Pat and uh, we were on our way. We're riding the train down the light rail. You know, you got guys from everyone meeting the city. Uh, people come from all over and uh, it's a tailgate and uh, we're all linked up at m &T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. And uh, yeah, one thing, long story short, I was like, hey, man, you think I'm, uh, I tried being polite, you know, I didn't try to come up and just start busting them up. I was like, like, what do you think I'm dating this girl for you to like uh, publicly humiliate her and go around telling stories about her and, um, you know, touch her and you know, I'm like, what do you, what do you think you're doing to this girl I'm dating, basically? And, uh, yeah, I think he just basically uh, didn't have much to say. Him and his buddies thought it was still funny. And so long story short, he's like, what are you going to do about it? And um, I was like, well, I'm going to whip your ass now. So, uh, you know, that's what it what happened. And he never messed with my girl again. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, and his buddies watched. They could have got some, too. So it wasn't like, you know, I was younger, outnumbered. They were bigger, older. It was like crazy that these college guys thought it was funny to uh, publicly humiliate my girl and have her crying. You know, and this was years ago in high school. I guess just always been defensive. Had sister Jasmine and then at the time. Little Marissa was just born. Mother, you know, I've always been defensive and territorial and protective. Um, right. Just my nature and like anyone should for their family you know what i mean i actually yeah when i was family and loved ones i mean that's just a no-go for me you fuck with my people you know i'll gladly catch a case over y'all yeah, yeah. <laughs> easily like no no questions asked <laughs> funny story is same shit happened to me when i was in high school but it was like some other kids my age and i went up to them i'm like yo what the fuck do you say to my girl and then like nobody said anything but if they were about to talk some shit it might it might have went down right then and there but there's like four guys but hey, you can't be doing that when someone when a man's with his girl. That's the last thing you want to do is try someone at that point in time. Um, yeah, it's, it's the last time. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you never now, man with his woman. You respect that. I just to kind of like different. Right, right. And just to kind of break down that thing a little bit. So real quick. Did you like just sock him in the face? He dropped, and you're just like ground and pounding his ass, or like how'd you break? No, his no, no, stuff? no. I, I, uh, I asked him if he was ready, and I, you know, I make sure he was ready. He put his hands up, and we squared up. And uh, my brother-in-law, no, I'm a brother-in-law anymore, but it was funny at the time he wasn't yet. But he threw ketchup yeah. on the guy's face, like just threw some, smacked him out of his hands. And the, after that, the guy went to swing on me. Like, you know, it started, tension started getting he heightened. And he smacked the ketchup that was in his hands into the guy's face. And looked like he was covered in blood already. But he wasn't. It was all ketchup. You know what I mean? So uh, he swings on me. I duck under. Bing, bing. 
hit him with like a quick two piece and the, the like I still got a nasty scar. But uh yeah, fight bite the right here. Oh shit. Is, yeah. Hit his tooth, tooth or he bit your throat. hand. He bit my hand, you could say, but yeah. my my knuckles went through him and knocked all of his teeth out, so it uh that's where the felony came in the dismemberment of the body that's the state tried to call it he was eating like a gbi a right shit. yeah he had fucked and broke his jaw it was a bad shot i hit him right square in his shit and then all the teeth went in and i ended up getting cellulitis or staph infection bone infection I had to get the bone taken out i was in the hospital for two weeks almost missed my wrestling season because the case i didn't get caught till like way later over it when I got found in the paper, it was like athlete of the week or some crazy stuff happened that I originally ended up getting charged with it later. Oh, shit. After you got yeah, in the newspaper. Years, years later. Yeah, like a year later or something. So, Did they kick you out of high school they, after that? Over that shit? Um, or well, like, eventually I got put on like administrative leave, got my football season ended in the middle of my high school football season, didn't get the rest of my high school senior year. So that's how I went to Florida my senior year because I was put out of North County in Maryland and Baltimore. So I went to Florida, tried to wrestle, went to high school down there, didn't get allowed to. Case got dropped, beat the case. What we just talked about, boom, immediately reinstated back in school. Y'all fucked me out of my football season and my senior wrestling career. But it was all good. I went and won senior nationals and played lacrosse in high school, finished my season out, graduated from North County, went to the Olympic Training Center. You know, it would have been nice to do some things with football. Though. I was on, I was doing some good things that, year, that, year, that season. Right. And that's what we were saying when you were like, I've accomplished things with my crazy life in the past. That is pretty much the story you're referring to when you were dealing with the whole case but you went to Florida and you of, locked that in. That was one of three cases pending. That was only oh, that one, was one of three. three cases. Yeah, I had a crazy high school career. Yeah, I was dealing into a lot. Do, yeah. A lot if you could just tell me real quick, because we can't just leave that no. out there. But what are the other two? You got in just all fights? Yeah, yeah fights. And uh, one, one story was similar but different in the club. But, yeah, I was just wrong places, wrong times, not living right. And still won junior nationals back in the day once you locked in for like a few months. Senior nationals first, then junior nationals. I was winning 180. I won senior nationals at 189 my senior year, obviously. That's the folk style nationals for high school. And then uh, Fargo junior nationals is the freestyle nationals. I won that at 171. Right. But, um, yeah. Okay. And then just to wrap that up yeah. then, how did you win the case? Oh, out of all the three cases, I ended up taking one uh, guilty. The only thing on my record was a second degree assault at 17. And that was because the Olympic Training Center, I had had more pending. They wouldn't let me come with the case pending because the, every the other one got dropped in the Naval Academy guys, too. They were older in college, not allowed to be at the Naval Academy out of the gates then they were in bourbon street with a club that doesn't exist anymore down in baltimore and uh they weren't allowed to be there and um uh, yeah got their asses whipped out back in the alley bouncers threw us out back together put us out of the club and we all just fought it was like you know it was actually a pretty good long one too but i was surprised that there was any case over that like i don't even know how honest, like, fist fights end up like that because uh, they were scrapping, tackling in the dumpsters. They were on the Naval Academy football team. But, uh, yeah, that case got dismissed, too. Yeah. And these guys and pressed charges? Case, How did you even get the? Oh, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Me. I don't know. I don't know. I think it was the state. But then there was another guy, Barnaby, and he ended up dying now, too. He overdosed. It was a lot of just bad people, you know what I mean? Bad timing with the with the one case too. People Barnaby is a guy you fought, but he passed away. Weird. Uh, no, no, he was the one who char pressed charges and had this whole crazy elaborate story. But uh, yeah, and he was like, uh, his dad was like the coach of the high school at St. Joe, where I was freshman year. That was just a crazy story too that he told, and literally. 
Case dismissed. But it looks so bad because there's things of high school years at St. Joe, freshman, sophomore year, North County, Lock Raven, these three different high schools, three different years worth of cases all getting picked up at the same time, getting charged as a felon with three different cases at the same time currently pending. You know, you're eligible for the three strike rule in Maryland. Like you could be put away for life if found guilty of three different felonies. So your your perspective changes like, holy shit, the state is trying to take my life away for these things. So it's like at the end of the day, I'm all too familiar with these uh whatever they call them, cancel cultures or it's been happening for a long time, in, unfortunately. Or... Yeah. It's all good though. Is my audio lagging right now? Yeah, lagging. Okay. Is that a little bit better? Yeah. But my girl's That's actually better? fin finished. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna wrap it up right now for you anyway. And just want to end it with like, can are you able to guarantee if you're gonna be fighting this year or not? Nah? No, no guarantees, but it's in my plan. Okay. It's in your plan. Then. Yeah. Before twenty twenty four ends. Yeah. We make plans and God laughs, but we'll see. Okay. Well, I'll be looking out for your next announcement, man. Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure, buddy.